I would have possibly said in this video that this mango people might actually take the place of this if it weren't for this one thing. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker. I try all these products out for you. Share my honest review so you have a better idea of what to buy and what not to buy. No one's paying me to say the following about this Mango People bronzer. I'm going to tell you five things about this product that I truly think are gonna help you make a better decision. If you like honest reviews and you wanna keep seeing more of them, don't forget to take two seconds Hit the like button, it's a small thing over here and it makes a huge difference. I like to compare these to my current favorites, one of which happens to be the Rose Ink Cream Bronzer. So I'm comparing these two. Towards the end of the video with the wear test, you're gonna see more about that. If you wanna see other favorites out of the thousands of products that I try, these are the current loves of my life. So you can beeline it back to the site. It's under Brit's Picks. Links to everything that I mentioned are gonna be below. We're gonna kick it off with ingredients. This is a cruelty-free vegan formula. It is very consciously created. It's made with recycled aluminum, which I'm loving. This is a really cool brand. It's pretty new on the scene. There's some Ayurvedic elements. There's something called triphala inside of here. There's a lot of really beautiful butters and hydrating ingredients that I personally like and my skin is fond of. I'm not gonna dive too deep into it because I am not a cosmetic chemist, but it's a beautiful list of ingredients. They are fully transparent, which is what matters most to me. Rosemary extract is inside, but it's at the very end of the list. Sometimes people say they have, if they have super reactive skin, that can irritate it, but check for yourself. What works for one might not work for another. So in terms of application, this looks like a little lipstick, which is pretty cool. All of their products look like that and they're definitely multitaskers. I tried applying directly to the face so you can go boop like that and like that and then using sort of a densely packed kabuki. This just happens to be the one from Merit. I press it in. I'm not swirling around because I have product on underneath and I don't want any of that shifting going on. So I just press it in pretty lightly and it does the trick. And then you can just press it in up here like so. I already have a layer underneath, so you're gonna see a true demo on skin that doesn't already have bronzer on it, but this is giving you a sense of how it builds. If you wanna get more precise and the way that I found it to be more helpful and more effective, honestly, on my skin, just a little dab, 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 dab. It goes onto the brush really quickly, and I mentioned this towards the end when we do sort of a value cost comparison between these two bronzers. It goes on really easily, and it goes from brush to skin very easily because this is a very soft and creamy formula. That has its advantages and disadvantages. But for now, we're talking about the advantages in application. It goes on and melts into the skin really well. I have drier skin. I have prepped with SPF, moisturizer, and a few other things. There's no primer on my skin. I'm not really a big primer person. But this creamy formula, creates this ease where you're able to apply it and just kind of, you can even press it in with your fingers. That works as well if you want a very strong pigment payoff and kind of keep building that up. So four out of five on the scorecard for that. In terms of payoff, you're able to already see it. I think it did a really strong job. For me, it was subtle at first, which is actually great because you have a little bit more control of building it. I have this at a three out of five. I'm questioning whether or not I'm gonna make it a four out of five because it's doing a pretty good job. Next, I will talk about finish. The claim here is that the finish is supposed to have a natural sun-kissed glow. Hello, I feel like we have achieved this. Need I say more? But really, when it comes to finish, I'm not just looking at the payoff, I am looking at does skin look like skin when I just keep building it or carving and doing these little things like, con I guess you contour carving sounds a little aggressive. <laughs> I'm not a turkey. Finish is really lovely, natural looking. Skin looks like skin. Check, check, check. It absolutely hit the nail on the head there. Very close to a five out of five, but it wasn't quite there yet. I'm gonna keep testing it. I've tried it for two weeks, but it could potentially be a five out of five. So And now. finally, the wear test. So I wanted, like I mentioned, to test this bronzer versus my favorite. That's one of the ways that I determine favorites. Check out the application on either side of the face and then you'll see wear test. So let's take a second and watch that. Mango people will put on the right side. Using more of a densely packed brush for this to press it in. Yeah. 
It's really the more hygienic way to do it. And this is very, very creamy, so it will pick up a good amount on the brush. Rose ink, which is in a giant plastic container. So we're gonna wear this on the left side. Really similar in shade. We will come back and check it out in eight hours. Let's get some natural light in there for the bronzer. We have mango people on this side. You can see it's a little bit more subtle. And then the rose ink on this side. So it's gonna be fun having two different products on my face all day. I love it. It is at least eight hours later. And we're gonna look at the bronzers. Mango people, rose ink current favorite. I'm looking to see if it moved or smudged on top of the skin on both sides. I'm not seeing any of that. The pigment is holding on pretty strong for both of them. It's really hard to see a difference. I actually think that the mango people held on a little bit more, just like a very small amount, but honestly, it's sort of too close to call here. So it really just depends on price, ingredients. The more sustainable option is going to be Mango People at this point in time. But yeah, I feel like I'm going to go through that pretty quickly. So let's see, the wear test was really strong. They're very comparable. Maybe Mango People edged out Rose Ink just a little tiny bit, just a little tiny bit, but it was very close. It was like neck and neck. Total score for the Mango People bronzing stick is going to be a 15 out of 20. It may very well turn into a 16 or 17 out of 20. I will update you if that happens. And then I did the comparison. You look at the prices between the two, fine. This one's 27, Rose Ink is 36. You get, it's bulkier, you got plastic, you got a whole lot of stuff going on. The Mango People has 0.14 ounces, I believe, in here, in this stick. So you're getting, you're getting, you're, I'm not gonna lie, it's not a lot. And then with the Rose Ink, you have 0.52 ounces. This honking big amount of bronzer, which as you can see, I'm basically at the very end of it. So for $9 more, you're getting quite a bit more in the Rose Ink. Yes, it's in a very bulky package. I don't love that. I wish that that was not the case and they would just use recycled aluminum or whatever is best. So that is what's holding this up. I would have possibly said in this video that this mango people might actually take the place of this if it weren't for this one thing but on top of that this goes really quickly because it's so creamy it's like the brow pencils you get you know what i mean and they're soft creamy and they're wonderful and i love them but then they go in a week i'm concerned that that's what's going to happen here has it happened yet i don't know but I'm watching it. What do you think? Have you tried this yet? Are you considering trying it now? You're like, no, I don't think it's for me. Let me know what you're thinking about this product in the comments below. If you have tried it, share your experience and let us know what kind of skin you have, type of skin. That also helps for context. I do have a full bronzer playlist that you can check out, or of course you can beeline it to Brit's Picks and go to my favorites of the bunch right now. Head to the playlist in a couple of seconds. Thank you for joining me. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like if you haven't already. Subscribe so you never miss a new product review. And I will see you right back here real soon. Until then, bye. Okay, we're doing it, we're doing it. Let's try it this time when I'm looking in the right camera. That's exciting, that's some exciting stuff.